Hey guys, welcome back to the Everyday M High School Years for episode 2 of my LP. I am so freaking anxious right now because Malcolm just asked M out on a date and I think the first thing we have to do is pretty much ask our dad if we could go. I mean, they've been pretty good, so I hope he says yes. Let's go see. All right, Dad, where are you? We're going out on this date. I don't care what you say. I'm going. Let's see. Dating. Ask if you can go out on a date. Here it goes. Here it goes. Ooh, jump chat. Okay, ask him. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, set him down. So dad, I like a guy and I want to go out with him. Yes, but I need to know when, where, with whom, and what time you'll be back. <laughs> Just like a dad, right? You see, his her dad's so cool. Frank is so cool. If you didn't watch episode one, you have to. But Frank and M, they're pretty much like best friends, but they have like this dad and daughter relationship, obviously. That's her father. But he's a really like easygoing dad. Like he's not strict, he's not overbearing. He raised her right, so he trusts her. She doesn't ever have to sneak out. And and I'm happy that it actually showed what I've been saying. That, you know, she does not have to sneak out. Oh, yibs. Cool. All right, cool. So, Dad said you could go out. Oh, show off outfit? You could. Oh, no, I canceled it. All right, yeah, that's Outfies. what I'm going to be wearing. No, Dad, I'm not going to be wearing this. I love that. I love that. Talk about cold temperature. So, you know what? I love that she just showed her dad her outfit. Like, Dad, you know, I'm going to get dressed up. I'm going to look nice. I'm not going to be wearing this. And now he's going to talk about the weather. It's kind of like make sure you dress comfy. It's a little cold out. Let's see the temperature. It's spring. It's sunny. He's right. It's cold. All right. Oh, thank you, Mifla. Back in Oishun. As Bobsel, Chichi, Hish. All right. All right, Dad. Thanks. We're going to get ready. All right, so it's it's not even late. It's about four-ish in the afternoon. They're not in school yet. You know, they're all prepping for school. So here is where Em's makeup is. I want her to come upstairs. I want her to come upstairs and get ready. Instant makeup. Let's do... Let's see. Hmm. She's wearing makeup already. It says remove makeup. No, let's... Let's, let's do brown and... Brown eyes, rose lips. That sounds cute. Oh, I already put it on her down there. Alright, come up here, Em. I need to see you. You have her mirror, her brushes. Um, I need to see her. Let's see what you look like. Would you stop smelling this air? Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Makeup's okay. Let's lose the glasses, change the outfit, put down the hair, and get ready. So we're going to jump into Cass, all right? Aww. All right, you guys. Em is all ready. She has her brown smoky eyes on, her rose lips. I'm loving her outfit. It's giving me, I'm dressed up, I'm ready to go, but I'm not trying too hard. She looks like your everyday teen that's going out with her friends. So we're going to get to this party and I hope everything goes well. Let's head over. <laughs> This party is everything, you guys. 
Um, I am super nervous. I don't see Malcolm. What the... Um, alright, so let's look for Malcolm. That's what we're gonna do first. We are gonna go look for Malcolm. Alright, he's not in this kitchen or the garage. He's not downstairs. You know what? He's probably upstairs. Let's go up stairs. Ooh, okay. Okay, we we found Malcolm. All right, so I'm super nervous. What the heck? Let's go here. Should we go in this room? Ooh, it looks like there's a, like an argument or something. Okay, so let's go in this room. I'm super nervous. All right, let's go in. Go here. Go here, Em. Oh my god, it's happening. We're going in. We're going in. Malcolm about oh my god I'm so nervous I don't even know what to ask him I don't want to gossip um because that was awkward let's see ask about your day <laughs> ask about his day all right they're gonna talk they're gonna talk every time I see this guy he's pissed off okay she's just gonna stand there and look you know stank I guess Stink face. All right, so she's gonna stand there. Nap. Ooh, keep that there. Ooh, okay. Um. Compliment his appearance. He looks good. Last time we Slack. seen him, he looked at Buster. Okay. <laughs> okay, so stink girl left. I don't even know her name, but she looked at Pest. Holy... Ah. Ooh, so... Funny... Yeah, let's lighten the mood, because that was weird. Like, maybe copy his impression, like, ah. you were all grouchy. <laughs> Kiss up. <laughs> you were so grouchy. Ooh, they're flirty. Flows it, flows it, flows it. Um, blah, Darza. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> So, so far, so this date is going good. Uh, no, don't tell him you like him yet. That's weird. Let's just talk, you know. Let's just keep things normal and natural. It's like first date, teen party. I just feel like M and Malcolm are sitting here and they're having a chat about just themselves, getting to know one another. Um, I just really see them as deeply, deeply connected. Maybe he's telling her about the girl that he was just talking to. You know what? Maybe not. I think Malcolm is all about letting M feel comfortable because he knows that she has a huge problem with trying to fit in and trying to belong so i think that he kind of accepts her as her and they're probably deeply talking about each other um your dad let you out <laughs> your dad let you come to this party um em is probably talking about the connection between her and her dad her dad's really cool i also have a feeling that em's talking a lot about just appreciating the fact that he invited her out you know um even as a people person she doesn't have her people or her clique or she has a hard time fitting in so to have somebody look at her and go you know what i like you for you i appreciate you for you um you tried to connect with me when i was in a really bad mood i appreciate that I appreciate you, M, and I appreciate you, Malcolm. I really feel like that's what they're talking about. It's all about them. Nothing else matters right now. 
there's a raging party going on downstairs, and yet they had to find their quiet place to connect. They will always connect when they're around each other. There's nothing superficial here. M and Malcolm just became really good friends and they're really connecting. I want him and M to have their first kiss. I mean, it's the first date. You know, M doesn't usually kiss on the first date, but why not? Alright, it's 1 a.m. We better get home. <laughs> Our dad's gonna kill us. Alright, guys, M's gonna go home. We have to get home. We have to. We have to. Our dad's gonna kill us. Alright, M is leaving this party. It seemed to come down a lot. She is gonna walk home. Or run. She's like, I'm in trouble. <gasps> I'm in trouble. All right, you guys, M just made it home, so I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was so much fun for me to do. I will see you guys next time. Signing out.